Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Got that in wrong order. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night unto you wherever it is you find this message coming to you. I'm Pastor Keith Gray, and I'm here to give you your nugget for the week. The Bible talks about a story of a man who is laying by the pool of Bethesda for over 38 years, waiting for the troubling of the water to get in. Now, we don't have time to tell all the lessons. There's just one lesson I want you to focus on. And this one's kind of serious. When Jesus comes, he asks him a particular question. Jesus says, <clears throat> Wilt thou be made whole? And instead of answering, if you know your Bible, the man begins to say why it is he can't get into the pool. He asks questions like, How can I? It's not my fault. There's nobody here to put me in. And number two, if I get close enough, somebody always gets in before me. Here's what I'm dwelling on. An interesting thing happens. The more time goes by, 38 years had gone by. The more time goes by, human nature has the tendency to change our circumstances and our history in our mind's eye so that it's in our favor. It wasn't true that in 38 years he couldn't get to that pool. My friends, when I tell you 38 years, I'm not telling you 38 years that he had been coming to the pool. I'm telling you 38 years he had been right there. This was his place. This was his life on his mat at that spot. And in 38 years, he could never get into the pool. Later on, Jesus comes to this man and tells him, don't sin anymore, lest a greater thing come on you. Yet when Jesus asks, in his mind, he never mentions his own actions that have caused him to be in that spot. I'm Pastor Keith Gray, and I'm here to tell you that sometimes, what holds us in a spot of our own misery is our inability to take responsibility for our own actions as to how we got where we are. I want to blame my mother. I want to blame my non-existent father. I want to blame the circumstances. I even will blame the color of my skin or the lack thereof for why I'm where I am. And what Jesus comes along to do, he's got all power. All he's interested in is that before he takes it away, we will be able to give him praise for him taking it away because we recognize it was ours. Jesus said it this way in the book of John. If you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you of sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's the part we like. The next verse says, but if we say we have no sin, we look at God and call him a liar. I'm here to tell you, the power to get up off your mat starts when I take responsibility even for that which I've caused, but I cannot fix. That is the offering that kickstarts your healing. Today, 
when you get on your knees, instead of blaming somebody, instead of forgetting how we got into the mess, my prayer is that we will start by bringing all things to Jesus and laying it completely at his feet that he may make us more than well. He can make us whole. I'm Pastor Keith Gray. Chew on this. Till next time, God bless. Have a great week.